Rastafari. We're just thinking about this before going on to the next part of our uh, Black Wall Street, or the real Black Wall Street. We're thinking about this whole false paradigm that's put out there. And um, not condemning the individuals who buy into this faulty paradigm, but condemning, you know, their pseudo-logic, their um, pseudonymous, um, you know, knowledge falsely so-called, their, their gnosis pseudonymous, as the scripture puts it. You've heard about black slavery and, and, and white slavery. Some would say, oh, well, you know, remember, this, this all goes back to the root. When we get to the root, right, when we get to the root, mystery Babylon is them who say, Black is white and white is black. That also explains a lot of the whitewashing and everything and the fact that, you know, the so-called black Madonna is in the back room as, you know, how all that kind of connects right there and that everything black is like bad and is devil. This is part of a faulty paradigm. And um, many uh, Anglo, Anglo brothers and sisters are... They need to be freed up from this false paradigm, right? That, okay, for example, black slavery is like physical slavery of the Africans, you know. Remember on the wall of Wall Street, see that connection, a continual kind of a crucifixion, lynching. You see how all that kind of comes together. We don't have to force nothing right there. Um, and white slavery is uh, sexual slavery, you know, it's, it's like sexual slavery, like what goes on in Saudi Arabia today, blah, 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 or what that's going on here or there, or with, you know, trafficking of, of, of children and, and, and women and, and prostitution. They say that's, quote, white slavery. Now, that's basically a Jesuit or in modern American terminology, like kind of like a CIA paradigm. That's part of the, what they call in the industry, in the agency, uh, it's an Infowars kind of paradigm, right? But it's a faulty paradigm. It is, it's, a, it's a faulty paradigm. And what we want to do is just expose this faulty black slavery, white slavery, white slavery. Oh, well, oh, black slavery is different than white slavery, and white slavery is different than black slavery. Isn't slavery an enslavement, right, of, of human beings? Isn't that just so-called, to speak English, plain English, slavery? So it's a false paradigm. So this, this, this vid right here is just to expose some of that false power, or begin to speak out against that false paradigm, right? Against that false paradigm of black slavery. Because if you say, if you say, right, if you say, well, white slavery doesn't have to do with white folks, right? But black slavery has to do with black people. What, what kind of nonsense is going on? Well, black slavery, there's no more black what, what That's still going on. You, you see what I'm saying? It's just going on in a new in a new, more technological, it's like techno-slavery in a sense, you know, or modern. It, it, it's just a new facade put on the same old game, right? And at the bottom of it, right, at the bottom of it, it all connects with um, the love of money, right, which is the root of all kinds of evil, right? So let's just... Uh, move this over right here and line this up right here. So that whole faulty paradigm about black, right, black and um, white slavery. Slavery is slavery. So beware of that faulty paradigm, even though a lot of the individuals who who promote this faulty paradigm, they would try to, you know, you know, black propaganda, white Black propaganda don't have anything to do with race, but white propaganda. Come on now. I mean, are you that blind? Uh, are you that foolish? You understand? Or unrepentant? I mean, can you not open up your, your, your consciousness to the light of God and Christ and recognize that even in black slavery there was sex going on and there was sexual exploitation it was of children, right? Um, pedophilia of children sexual exploitation of, of, of women, and all sort of so-called slavery, just to use that general, um, that general terminology. But what we went through, brothers and sisters, was a little bit more than just so-called 
black slavery. It was a black holocaust, right? And what we want to further explore, explore here is the connection with the wall of Wall Street. What you don't hear from Occupy Wall Street, what you don't hear from all these people who are railing against the bankers and the, and the New World Order and the system, is that it all began, this whole economic system that you trust in, all began on the blood, sweat, and tears of God's people, of John's people, right, of the, of the true Hebrews, or the, we could say the true Jews, right, according to the racial, right, the racial type. Right, the Ethiopian Hebrew, black Hebrew. So we see this connection here. So the first thing we have to do is to redress this faulty paradigm, this black white, you know, black white folks. These the same people would say, well, we want to get past this whole black white thing, and they're trying to use race to divide us. Listen, when you talk about white slavery, many black men were demonized for white slavery back in those days, if you really know anything about history. I mean, just recent history in America. So, so if, there's, if, if there's ever a reason to destroy this faulty paradigm so we can see clearly the forest for the trees, then now is the time. So the faulty paradigm of black slavery, white slavery, don't believe the lie. Right? Slavery and enslavement and exploitation is exploitation. Now, true, certain people or certain people who enslaved certain people treated them, I'm not going to say better, you understand, worse or worse, worse. You see what I'm saying? You know, so there were different degrees, right? And some slavery actually comes out of Europe. The word slavery, slavery, come out of how certain Europeans treated other so-called Indo-Europeans. You know what I'm saying? How Europeans treated and exploited each other, and this terminology also refers to certain European um, national and racial types. And then in the trans-Ethiopic Ocean or transatlantic slave trade, this terminology of Slav was transposed to Ethiopian, that's to say true African, Ethiopian black people, Ethiopian Hebrew people was transferred to them. You see what I'm saying? And now when one think of slave, it's almost like black people own that, right? When you think about slavery, it's like, you know, the first thing that comes to mind, you think about roots or something like that. That's part of the, the manipulation of the media. You know what I'm saying? But if you, if you studied, if you, if you seek the truth for yourself, if you, if, if you read and research and investigate it for yourself, you'll recognize that what we're saying is true, that slavery is slavery. Painting this little false paradigm of white slavery, black slavery, you understand, is just worthless. It does not, it does not help at all. You understand, in fact, it's part of that cover-up and tracing it to its very root, black is white, white is black. You understand the turning upside down of things. It, it, it serves that faulty paradigm. It serves mystery Babylon. That, 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 that paradigm, faulty paradigm, it serves the evildoers. It serves the enemies. You understand? We're not saying that those who use it necessarily, but they've been deceived to believe that there's really a big difference, like the whole black propaganda, white propaganda. See, they don't understand that the root of propaganda was the congregatio, the propaganda de fide, or the Roman Inquisition, the Congregation for the Propagation of the Roman Faith. 